Get in. How long can we maintain, I wonder? How long before one of us starts raving and jabbering at this boy? What will he think then? This same lonely desert was the last known home of the Manson family. Would he make that grim connection when my attorney starts screaming about bats and huge manta rays coming down on the car? If so, well, we'll just have to cut his head off and bury him somewhere. Because it goes without saying that we can't turn him loose. He'd report us at once to some kind of outback Nazi law enforcement agency and they'll run us down like dogs. Jesus, Jesus did I say, say that? that? I was just thinking. Was I talking? Did they hear me? It's okay. Just admiring the shape of your skull. No thanks. Maybe I better have a chat with this boy, I thought. Perhaps, if I explain things, they'll rest easy. All right, listen. There's one thing you should probably understand. Can you hear me? Good. I want you to have all the background. Oh, oh. This is a very ominous assignment with overtones of extreme personal danger. I'm a doctor of journalism, man. This is important, goddammit. This is a fucking true story. Oh, Shit! Oh, Wait, oh, where are you going? Shut up! Get the fuck Get your hands on my fucking neck! No, no, no. Our vibrations were getting nasty. But why? Was there no communication in this car? Had we deteriorated to the level of dumb beasts? I want you to understand that this man at the wheel is my attorney. He's not just some dingbat I found on the strip, man. He's a foreigner. I think he's probably Samoan. It doesn't matter, though, does it? Are you prejudiced? Hell no. <laughs> I didn't think so. Because in spite of his race, this man is extremely valuable to me. Oh, shit. I forgot about the beer. You want some? Oh. Uh, How about some ether? What? Never mind. All right. Let's get right to the heart of this thing. 